Okay, there's been a few comments on online from a few YouTubers that haven't really used technical cameras. And I wanted to just explain a couple of things. Um, obviously, some of my learned friends will already know this. Um, as you know, this, uh, this Cambo rail system uh, can be slid up and down. And one of the concerns was, was uh, when you have got a, a digital back um, or a lens that's got a, a larger rear element here, the concern was of the rear element touching the, the sensor. Well, what Cambo have actually cleverly done, uh, it's not on this particular model, because this is for the GFX, it's not going to affect the GFX, because as you can see, it's not going to go, you know, it's not going to touch the sensor there. But if you have got a, 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 um, a digital back on here, it's going to be right near the film plane. If you have a, um, a lens, a Rodenstock or a Schneider lens, for example, um, then the rear element is going to be quite large. Now, what Cambo have done, they've added a, um, a, a stop device which runs along the arca rail here. The, there are markings along the arca rail, so if you've got, a, say, a, a Schneider 35XL or a Rodenstock 40HR, uh, a digger on lens, they can move this lens stopper along to the edge, lock it in place, and as soon as you start to focus, the whole of this rail, uh, when it starts to move, move forward for the infinity focus, it will stop at the right point, so the sensor will not touch the rear element. Fantastic safety feature, very, very easy to do. If, for example, you want to upgrade a GFX or a DSLR um, Cambo Actus to a DB2, that's the digital back Actus for a digital back system, then you'll actually get one of these lens stoppers included with the rail. So the safety feature is there when you make the upgrade.